Hello everyone. In this project, I start new doily and I want to show you all steps for beginner, how to start, uh, about the equipment. First, I used for Russian bobbin lace bolster pillow. The size of the pillow is uh, 22 inches by diameter is 11 and a half inches. You can use different size it depends what you need to for small projects small dolly small things you can use a smaller size but if you sometimes you start uh, make a color or big um, lace you need bigger um, the pillow stuffed with straw but uh, i know that some pillows would be stuffed with uh, foam but you need to stuff it very tight and a pin should be uh, stay not moving in the pillow also we use our bobbins this is my bobbins the pairs of bobbins for this project, I used uh, I used seven pairs of fourteen bobbins, and also I use a smaller size of hook for connecting each, and I start to show you how to wind. Um, how to wind uh, threads on the pillow this is threads I will use uh, white threads if for skin I will use yellow it's more thick threads and uh, for um, whole, whole stitch I use is cotton cotton uh, threads 20, 20 grams so uh, I measure I measure maybe for the threads a um, couple yards so it's enough and I, how can I start to wind I uh, secure one edge and just uh, wind it and make a loop a lock and now it can unwind and also this again I measure a couple yeah maybe late more it depends of project and other and I also wind Same. Techniques. And make a loop and lock. And now I have um, bobbins, pair of bobbins ready. This is a printed pattern. I stick to the cardboard and cardboard I attach to my pillow. And in Russian style, we don't just 
straight put a, a pin to attach we need uh, take some fabrics and like make it more secure and attach like this I also want to show you uh, what kind of um, bobbins I use this bobbins is 7 inch and this is a little bit smaller size but we always use big to keep it in hand my hand should take this handlers and I use pricker to make a hole and also my pillow is um, rest on the stand and usually we don't move pillow we move everything stand and pillow and we need to move because when we start a weaving it should be straight i i always should have a thread in front of me even if it's a pattern uh, make movement uh, turns or move I need to move my pillow also I'll show you later how it's we can move just like gently um, up and move, but never move inside the frame this frame and also before you start um, daily or any other um, lace we need to first uh, we need to practice with um, how to make some elements whole stitch this is whole stitch half stitch and the stylus and um, I have videos how to make this you need to practice to make this elements before you start and um, if you can uh, connect me through the youtube through the message and ask me i will uh, uh, give you a link to where you can download this pattern practice pattern uh, now we need to find place where to start how to read pattern we need to find this is close stitch that goes like turns curves it goes around connected this each point we need connect using a hook it uh, always call coupling place everything is connected every element connecting between each other and I uh, found a starting point could be like this in the straight line not in the curves so for this I make a hole with my pricker and put pins for the starting line when we start the, from this line from this point and we make um, close stitch it's like labyrinth or pass we need to follow the path when we approach uh, some elements we need to make it but we make this is starting point of this element and this is end point so I always do it when it at end point when everything is ready okay now I hand up the, um, my bobbins <laughs> 